So let's go do Aaron Rodgers update of today. So, um, Sports Center uh, personality Kenny Main. He ended up getting canned from ESPN because uh, they don't know how to run their business over there. They it's like every year, like ESPN is like, yeah, we've got to cut everybody. <laughs> we've got to cut all of our personalities here because we are not making any money. And uh, it's just uh, I don't understand how uh, the the biggest sport, the only real sports channel that there is. You got Fox Sports. But, uh, you know, the mainstream, the most mainstream sports network, you can't make profits and you have to, like, cut analysts back every single year. And you have to cut Kenny Main, who's been there forever. So it, it, they don't know how to run a business. They're not adapting to anything and they're floundering. So um, that's my dig at ESPN. <laughs> Uh, but if they would love to hire us, we'll take all that back. No worries. We can delete the episode, delete the segment. I've got no problem with that. <laughs> I've got no problem with that. But ESPN yesterday, Kenny Maine's last sports center. He's no longer there anymore. So Aaron Rodgers, he loves Kenny Maine. So he goes on the show and we're able to get a couple of quotes here from Aaron Rodgers on what this whole thing's about. Because we haven't heard from Aaron Rodgers during this entire thing. It's all been rumors. It's all been what Adam Schefter is saying. It's all been what the teammates are saying. Um, the head coaches and general managers are like, yeah, we still want him here. Uh, you know, we haven't really heard anything. So it's all, you know, media information. It's all social media information. It's nothing straight from his mouth until last night where we get some quotes. So let's see what this man has got to say. So much has been made about Rodgers' perceived discontent with Green Bay drafting quarterback Jordan Love in the 2020 NFL draft first round. But Aaron, but Rodgers unsolicited said it had nothing to do with Love's selection, but the team's philosophy and maybe forgetting that it's about the people that make that makes the thing go. So this is the quote of Aaron Rodgers, folks. Buckle, buckle in, buckle up, and uh, let's read this. Here we go. Quote, with my situation, look, it's never been about the draft pick, picking Jordan. I love Jordan. He's a great kid, a lot of fun to work with together. I love the coaching staff. I love my teammates, love the fan base in Green Bay. Incredible 16 years. It's just kind of about a philosophy and maybe forgetting that it's about the people that make the thing go. It's about character. It's about culture. It's about doing the doing things the right way. A lot of this was put in motion last year and a wrench was kind of thrown into it when I won MVP and played the way I played last year. So this is just kind of, I think, Think a spill out of all of that but look man it's about the people and that's the most important thing Green Bay has always been about the people from Curly uh, Lambo being the owner and found to the 60s with uh, Vince Lombardi and Bart Starr and all those incredible names to the 90s team with coach Mike Hol Holmgren um, and Brett Favre and the minister of defense Reggie White to the run that we've been on. It's about the people. So that's the quote, folks. So let's get into it because I'm not understanding. We still don't know. And once again, it's just Aaron Rodgers with this word soup that doesn't tell us anything. And, you know, once again, shifts the blame away from him, but never really getting down to the true problem, to the true nit nitty gritty of what is bugging Aaron Rodgers. So once again, we have to put all this nonsense on Aaron Rodgers. If Aaron Rodgers wants to make this situation better in Green Bay. Please tell us what the situation in Green Bay is. Stop telling us what it's not. Tell us what it is without the word soup. Come out and just tell us, man. Tell us. Or we don't feel sorry for you. I've never felt sorry for Aaron Rodgers. He's always been in the position to win. He's just never taken it upon himself to do so while being clutch. So that's why we always kind of you know, knock Aaron Rodgers heavily because he is one of the greatest quarterbacks to ever do it, but he doesn't win like one of the greatest quarterbacks of all time. So when we look at what Brady has done, uh, we can kind of knock Aaron Rodgers because we see Tom Brady winning all the time where Aaron Rodgers can't. So I, I feel no remorse. I don't feel sorry for Aaron Rodgers at all here. If the organization, if he's feeling, you know, if he's feeling let down by the organization or he just doesn't feel um, respected in the organization, that's fine. Then go somewhere else. Tom Brady did it in one, so you should have no problem doing it as well. 
Um, and I also don't feel sorry about this whole Aaron Rodgers not feeling wanted in Green Bay because he doesn't tell us what the exact problem is. And you don't have to tell us. I don't care. I would like to know. But tell what the owners are because every time you hear we hear from Matt LaFleur, it's all like, hey, we want him back bad. We, you know, this is our guy. He, we love him. We think he's great. He's one of the greatest quarterbacks of all time. And, you know, he's like, we don't even know what the problem is of Aaron Rodgers. So he is not even telling the organization that can change it. So I, I don't feel sorry for him. But once we get into these quotes here, uh, it's just like, what is he talking about? So let's start with this one. Here we go. It's just kind of about a philosophy and maybe forgetting that it's about the people that make the thing go. So he's kind of talking about himself here. Hey, you know, the, the coaches and the organization and the, the the owners and all that, they kind of forget, hey, it's the people on the field that produce the product that go out and win the games. It's the players on the field. It's me on the field. But Aaron Rodgers, you don't win the big game. It's not you. You're not making it go. You're stuttering at the NFC Championship game. So it's on you there on the field. So you're not getting it done. Um, what else do we get here? It's about character. It's about culture. Once again, bringing in that kind of, you know, bigger God complex. Hey, it's about their culture, man. It's about their character. I, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm comfortable in my own character, but, you know, it's about the character, you know, the character here. Bringing up the character here is, has, uh, you know, it's supposed to make everybody question the character of the organization, not the character of Aaron Rodgers. That could never be wrong. Aaron Rodgers is the greatest of all time. He's a saint. His character is absolute perfection. It's the, it's the, the owner's character it's the organization's character um so it's about character it's about culture it's about doing things the right way oh my goodness blah 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 it's about doing things the right way i mean folks not everything is done the right way it's business it's society it's life not everything is done for the right reasons it should be in a perfect society yes it should be but that's not how the real world real world works and you're naive for thinking and trying to kind of live your life that way a thousand percent um, it's about character. It's about culture. It's about doing things the right way. A lot of this was put in. Now, this is where I don't understand what the hell he's talking about. A lot of this was put in motion last year. And the wrench was kind of thrown into that when I won MVP and played the way I played last year. What? A lot of this was put in motion last year. And the wrench was kind of thrown into that when I won MVP. So you won MVP and you were playing great, but the I, like I, I don't get what he's trying to say there. I, I don't understand what this is trying to say. A lot of this was put in motion last year. A lot of what? A lot of, because um, what he just said before that, it's about characters, it's about culture, it's about doing the right thing. So a lot of this was put into motion last year. So he's feeling disrespected last year when he won the MVP and wasn't getting raved and ranted about because he won the MVP. Well, you lost in the NFC Championship game. I'm all about championships. I don't care about your individual MVP award. All right, congratulations. I want to win Super Bowls and titles and legacies and dynasties. You don't get that by just winning MVPs. Go out and beat Tom Brady in the NFC Championship game and not waste two interceptions in the second half. A lot of this was put in motion last year, and the wrench was kind of thrown into it when I won MVP and played the way I played last year. So... So this is kind of just, I think, a spill out of all of that because you won on VP and it's a spill out because you're not getting praise and they're not actively sucking you <laughs> like uh, because you won MVP. OK, like, I, I don't understand what Aaron Rodgers wants. What more does he want? It's not the talent, folks. He's got pieces everywhere. Don't talk about, oh, you know, they're not giving him any help through the draft. Folks, do we have to go through who his weapons are, folks? He's got the weapons. He's got the great tight end. He's got the great A1 tier one wide receiver. He's got a great great solid number two he's got a phenomenal running game it's never all on Aaron Rodgers folks so I don't know what more he wants does he just want everybody to bow down bow down to him whenever he walks on the grass and if he wins MVP he wants everybody to literally suck him every day of the week I don't get it 
So Aaron Rodgers, once again, with the word soup, I'm not, but I don't feel sorry. I don't feel any empathy for this man. If you want to walk away, if you feel not respected, then leave, then leave. If you want to leave so bad, then, you know, just walk away. But this word soup and going on ESPN and, you know, saying this quote right here that we just read that I don't understand what he's trying to go with it. If it's about the people, then it's not about you. If it's always been about the people, like he just said right here, Green Bay has always been about the people. So why are you making it all about you then? You're not the only one on the team. You're not the only one disappointed that you can't win an NFC championship game. You're letting down all the fans. You're letting down all the other players on your own team. So once again, Aaron Rodgers making it about himself while also saying it's always been about the people. So... Um, I don't, I don't know, man. I don't know what Aaron Rodgers wants. I don't know what he's trying to say here because he's never clear. He's always, you know, thinking he's more intelligent than everybody else. Throwing out this word soup to try to make himself look good by, by trying to throw in subtle digs at every single other person on this Packers um, organization in the front office. So I'm not, I don't like it and I don't feel any empathy for this man. Go out and win another ring and then maybe I'll be like, all right, yes, he absolutely. But it's not like, folks, he's gotten to the NFC Championship game these last two years. So I honestly don't know what the hell the problem is because he's not getting sucked every single day. Tom Brady didn't get sucked every single day in that Patriots organization. And look at this man. Look at this man. He never complained, even though he could have, and he kind of did a couple of times, but not as much as Aaron Rodgers did. And then, you know, when it was time, he left and won a ring year one. So go and do the same thing if you think you're that good, but you know you're not that good, and that's the problem. Aaron Rodgers knows he's not better than Tom Brady. He knows he's not one of the greatest of all time, so he has to kind of do whatever is in his power to shift the narrative away from, you know, Aaron Rodgers flounders in the big game and can't win the big one and can't be, you know, his biggest rival and his biggest kind of competitor editor in the greatest of all time category so he has to go and shift blame and kind of take the story away and be like hey look at oh poor me poor me here I'm trapped here in Green Bay look at me I'm trapped here oh my god I get no respect they're they're drafting quarterbacks and that doesn't have anything to do with it but they're not drafting me any weapons and I've got great weapons already I just can't cash in on two interceptions thrown by Tom Brady in my home stadium back to back years I've had NFC championship games in my home home stadium, but oh, poor me, Aaron Rodgers, oh, I get no respect, I get no respect, <laughs> I get no respect, <laughs> I can't do it, uh, but y'all know, <laughs> I forgot who it was too, damn, I butchered that, but yeah, he gets, I get no respect here, blah, blah, please respect me, and please suck me, and please everybody bow down to them, the greatest to ever do it, but I can't beat the great, the actual greatest to ever do it, head to head, when his first year is in the NFC, his first year in the NFC, in my home stadium, and I can't even beat him, so, Aaron, what are we doing, man? Go win a ring and stop complaining. You've got the pieces. It'd be just because you don't feel respected. Nobody feels respected in their job. Nobody. You go to anybody on the street of any profession. Do you feel like you get paid enough? Do you feel like you're respected? Do you feel like the uh, company actually cares about you? No, no, and no. That's it. Those are the answers. So please spare us. Spare me, Aaron Rodgers. What do you want? What do you want? Like the notebook. What do you want? No. What do you want? What do you want? So no respect. And what do you want? That's what. That's. <laughs> that's where we're at with Aaron Rodgers. I, I don't freaking understand what this guy wants. And he never tells us. So. Um, but here we go. Now there's odds. Now there's odds on DraftKings. Once again, I cannot find these odds anywhere, but they put them out here. Uh, the Denver Broncos are now the favorites to land Aaron Rodgers if he leaves Green Bay. So the DraftKings odds are Aaron Rodgers, um, specials for 2021-2022 NFL season. The first team, uh, to play one snap. All right. So let me, I butchered that, but Aaron Rodgers, which team does he play one snap for in 2020? 
Uh, Green Bay Packers is the favorites at minus 167, but then it's the Broncos at plus 140. Real kind of solid odds there, honestly. And then it's the Ravers, Raiders plus 1,000, not very likely. The Saints plus 2,000, you know, not very likely. Then the 49ers at plus 2,000. Washington at plus 2,000. Panthers at plus 2,500. Browns at plus 2,500. Dolphins at plus 2,500. Patriots at plus 2,500. But, um... Yeah, now we're talking about Aaron Rodgers leaving Green Bay. We kind of, you know, we heard him say, hey, I'm not coming back. And now these odds after the ESPN uh, segment comes out, the uh, DraftKings says, hey, the Broncos plus 140. And we know they've got, you know, quarterback controversy there, quarterback competition. And Aaron Rodgers is clearly better than Drew Locke and Teddy Bridgewater and will instantly win that starting job. And the Broncos would be, you know, Super Bowl contenders instantly with Aaron Rodgers. Uh, but hopefully they just respect him. Hopefully they respect him and suck him every single day he shows up uh so that's where we're at with Aaron Rodgers folks nobody knows what he wants the word soup god complex he thinks he's smarter than everybody uh so I'll let him think he's smarter than everybody but he's not the greatest of all time in my opinion so I hope that gets under his skin hey Aaron Rodgers Tom Brady's better than you you'll always be number two you'll never be number one go out and win another ring please and then maybe we can change the uh, conversation, but until you win another ring, which you will never do because you always flounder in the NFC. I mean, folks, how do you take your biggest rival? How do you let your biggest rival come into your home stadium in the first year that he's in your conference while throwing three interceptions in the second half and you still lose? I mean, what are we talking about here now? He's never the greatest of all time now. Unfortunate. It's unfortunate. Don't get me wrong, but this is reality, folks. This is the world we are li now living in. Aaron Rodgers will never be the greatest of all time. So go ahead and keep, you know, uh, uh, try to, you know, keep reflecting that narrative from hitting the mainstream so you go out on, you know, all these shows and make these quotes. Um, so <clears throat> sorry, not sorry. I know y'all love Aaron Rodgers, but can you win, please? I, I want to see winning, and he doesn't win the big game. So um, that's Aaron Rodgers. So I don't know what y'all want from me. All right, let's keep moving on here. What do we